Another description of the film on Amazon that Kyrie linked to says that the movie uncovers the true identity of the children of Israel by proving the true ethnicity of Abraham, Jacob, and many others. Find out what Islam, Judaism, and Christianity have covered up for centuries in regards to the true biblical identity of the so-called Negro in this movie packed with tons of research. Okay, he's he's free again to believe all of the above. Right. Maybe there's some truth in that, but but I don't know of it. He said, my friend, those samples you, you, you brought here, they have caused, caused a stare here in, in, in Israel. I said, why, why do you say so? I said, no, look, you see there's some blacks there from Ethiopia who do the cleaning the hotels okay. and all that. He said, that boy you are seeing there, his percentage is about 26%. But on you, it's 70%. 70? Seven, 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 zero percent. That's significant. But we cannot release this information. Because look, there's no land, and you're at war, and it is a desert. So are, are you telling me what I think you're telling me? You're saying they know that there is a high percent of Jewishness and the they Israeli know. government they know. would not allow to release these this results to the they public? They know, they know. That's they know. inconceivable. They know. And by the way, we blood of Christ. We right. blood of Moses. Right. We're not just a color in a crayon box. And if we knew that, who we really were, we'd treat each other differently. We'd treat ourselves differently. So when you say, I'm black and I'm proud, like, but of what? What, what concept are we? Are who are the Semitic people? And then we're going to get to the public enemy thing. Right. So I looked up who is the Semitic people. And there's a list of Semitic people. And anyone can do this right now. You can look up. Who are the Semitic people? What are the Semitic languages? Right. Has absolutely nothing to do with any white people. Right. Fact. Not at all. So in order for me to be anti-Semitic, I'd have to be anti-black man, anti-black woman, anti-black people, anti-Africa, anti-all of the people. Because the Semitic people are black people. Are black people. So, so y'all get that clarity. We're gonna say that again. Now, the Semitic people are black people. So we're gonna look and track now the migration patterns of the regal merchant class of the House of Judah. Because now we can see that the Caucasians are not pure white races, but a mixture of Asians that lived on the Russian steppes. Asians in the Caucasus mountains, right? Corker Asians, Ashkenazi Khazars, the Ashkenazi, they who say they are Jews and are not, are Corker Asians, Khazarian Mongols. That's the truth, and you can check that box. They who say they are Jews and are not. While attempting to empower the black community, revealing the truth that many black people are descendants of the tribes of Israel who were in Africa and later taken as slaves to the Americas. And the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and a little bit of Shimon were on the southern side of Israel. So when you discuss going into exile, uh, it would make sense that the Judeans would have direct access to going into Africa. And, and in fact, we see through historians like Josephus and other historical documents, even in the Tanakh, there were many different waves of Judeans actually going into Africa um, in different periods of time, over a 2,000-year period even, including in recent times from the Portuguese Inquisition. Right. So, yeah, it is definitely interesting, as you said. Islam. Islam designed infernal slavery. And then the Ashkenazi Khazars, those who say they are Jews and are not, are the ones that marketed it and the regal Negro nomads exiled from the kingdom of Judah were the main recipients of it at the hands of the indigenous black Africans. Because you've got to understand, the regal class of the house of Judah came down from Israel and they came into the land of the black Africans. And the black Africans resented the regal class of the house of Judah in their land because they had laws, they had customs, they had civility. And they were a regal class of Negro that came down into Africa. And later on, it was the Ashkenazi 
the Islamic slave traders as well that then worked together with the indigenous black Africans to enslave the regal house of Judah. This community of Nigerian Jews belongs to the country's third ethnic group, the Igbo. They claim to be descendants of a lost tribe of Israel and today observe religious practices very similar to rabbinical Judaism, although it's not always easy. There is linguistic evidence that ties Mesoamerica uh, to the Near East as well. The night. Brian Stubbs, who is a Latter-day Saint and is an expert in the Utah Aztecan languages, has been comparing them, not just with Hebrew, but with languages cognate to Hebrew, such as Arabic. And he has concluded that there are a lot of remnants of the Hebrew language that one can find in the Utah Azteco language. As a linguist, I have found considerable evidence of Hebrew and Egyptian in at least one language family, uh, Utah Aztecan. Uh, I have not yet published my findings for the linguistic community. The Utah Aztecan language family is a language, uh, about 30 related languages that are descended from what linguists call proto Utah Aztecan. It's the Bat Creek Stone. It was found during the course of an official Smithsonian evacuation. The Smithsonian didn't understand the, uh, uh, the meaning of the writing on the stone. They thought it was Cherokee, since it came from Cherokee country, they didn't realize that it's actually Hebrew. They had published this originally upside down. They threw it in a box at the bottom of the Smithsonian, put it in the basement. Many years later, a scholar took it out of the box, looked at it, and went, oh my gosh, it's upside down. It's Phoenician, ancient Hebrew. So what's going on here? 